You know, I wanted to actually be in corporate world for a couple of years and, you know, you know, why start poor kind of thing and, you know, said, let's take a corporate job with GE. And there were like 10 of us who were trying to do this. So that's the place where we started. And I think I just want to emphasize the elements that I think uh, hopefully I'll weave in a little bit for you. When I was starting this journey, now, now you know, Professor talked about 5,000 people that we have in the business. At the time, the journey was not about cost arbitrage. The journey was not about doing this in a low cost country. The journey was about global talent arbitrage. Uh, the person who actually started all of this, I know the pitches that were made. And the whole idea was while you know, GE was actually setting up a kind of transaction processing center in Gurgaon at the same time, they said, let's also go after talent leverage using the organization that we are building up in India and really get people in a discipline where there is a fundamental dearth of talent. So that's where we all started from. Now sitting in this conference room where I think there are hundreds of colleagues here who I have kind of one, uh, one level uh, linkage to, uh, you know, this ecosystem has just gone, grown by leaps and bounds. And uh, it is really, really a fortunate place to be. The story, frankly, I would want to weave in for you with a few examples is that this is one area where knowingly or maybe by a serendipity, we have actually ended up being a leader. We are a very significant part of the ecosystem, helping companies actually embed insights in their business processes, embed insights in the technology and so forth. So we actually are at a great place, and momentum that we have is ours to lose, actually. So I'll make that case. That when I started uh, this uh, business, in the beginning, I remember somebody said, here is a job description. Find someone who has credit bureau experience for about 10 years. Uh, somebody who has actually knowledge of SaaS and this and that and knows uh, econometric modeling and all of that. So when you actually search against those cr uh, criteria, you find that there were zero people actually in that ecosystem. Right now, actually, actually if you hit against that spec, you'll find tens of thousands of people in our country right now here available with that kind of specification. So there's a huge evolution that has happened in terms of talent availability in this space now. Over 100 people who are on my LinkedIn account are actually working with these global companies. These people used to work with us before here, were part of our ecosystem here. Now they are doing global roles that are functional, but very analytically savvy. So they're driving sales and marketing optimization, risk management, supply chain optimization in a functional role in the business, in a global corporation, it's spread all over the world. So that's another thing where we have really clearly demonstrated the leadership of this space. Their aviation services uh, business, which is a large services business, has a pretty peculiar uh, model, as you would expect. The model is that G actually sells engine at cost or at loss when they actually sell the engine. What we do, and I'll just describe what we do now for them. What we do is we actually do a bunch of engineering reliability predictions for these 10,000 parts, roll them up at you know assembly level, predict the you know likelihood of uh, failure for each of the parts convert it to a financial model, which basically says that here's the cost of that failure. And then over a period of time, actual life will manifest itself and costs will go this way or that way and you know usage will be. We were able to actually go back, or GE was able to actually go back to the customer, the airline customer, and offer up and say, okay, you have to reduce capacity, that's fine. The interesting thing about this is not necessarily uh, the high level aha that you get when you hear about this. I think the interesting thing is that it takes years to build this. So this was something that was built over seven years. This process was done by a couple of analysts sitting in different shops somewhere. The data flows were not uh, uh, you know, proper. The process was not actually even understood end to end. This work that we did over you know, uh, seven, eight years actually now created a process that is analytically administered and admi uh, analytically controlled. And it creates immense amount of value actually. So that's one example that I thought I'll talk about from a classic engineering world.